Today we replaced the rear shocks and axle bump stops on the 2002 Chevy Avalanche 1500. These front and rear shock absorbers and bumpers fit Chevy 1500 trucks from 2002 to 2006. I'll put the links in the description for all these parts and tools. The tools needed a half inch ratchet and socket set with extensions. If you have a half inch impact gun, it will make the job easier with a socket. A 50 millimeter wrench, vice grip, a 22 millimeter socket for the wheels, adjustable wrench, and a hammer and large flat screwdriver, and two jack stands. And of course the shocks, Make sure the emergency brake is on and the wheels are chucked. We start removing the wheel, the center cap, and with the 22mm socket on the impact, take off the five lugs and put the tire aside. Now there's the shock and notice the floor jack is under the axle on the banjo so we can adjust it up and down if needed. For safety we have jack stands just before the wheel well on both sides. Starting with the bottom nut and bolt, we'll need 13 16s or 21 mm socket. And the same goes for the top nut and bolt. This is the cup that holds the rear axle bump stop in which the old is gone. And it bottoms out on top of this plate, which is part of the axle. So between the shock, the spring, and this bump stop, we'll get the smooth ride. And the axle, with all its components, like the wheel bearings, would not last long without these three working properly. We'll clean the inside and install the new bump stop. But we start with the 21mm socket on the impact and the adjustable wrench. We take off the nut on the lower axle mount and then slide the bolt out. If the shock is too compressed, the jack can be lowered some to take the pressure off the bolt and then pull it out. Now the top nut and bolt with the adjustable we can hold the nut on the outside but the uh, bolt head is on the other side of the top of the chassis and a ratchet will have to be used here. A bit of a challenge but it's doable. Once it's off you should be able to remove the shock absorber now. Start at the bottom by pulling it away from the shock mount. If you have trouble you may need to pry it to compress it and clear it from the mount then push it away from the bottom shock mount. If it's stuck in the top mount, pry it the same way. Before installing the new shock, it will need to be primed. Compress it and let it extend at least three times. This will ensure that the gas and oil are in the proper position inside the shock. Now starting with the top, reinstall it into the shock mount. Insert the bolt. and finger tighten the nut. Then we do the same to the bottom. We were about to compress the shock and work it into the bottom shock mount when we remembered it would be a lot easier to install the axle bump stop first. Before we install it we clean inside the cup. After cleaning we insert it into the cup on an angle and then carefully push it into the top edges past all the four prongs until you feel it grab. You can see the yellow on the four slots around the cup to make sure it's all the way in. Now we can finish installing the bottom of the shock. We compress it and work it into the bottom shock mount. If the shock and mount bolt holes are not lining up, use a flat screwdriver to pry it until it does. Then insert the bolt. Once you see the thread on the other side, screw in the nut and hand tighten. With the adjustable wrench and 21mm socket on the impact gun, we tighten the nut and bolt on the lower mount. We do the same to the top nut and bolt, but use a ratchet instead of the impact. It's obvious to see there's barely any room for an impact. We torque the top and then the bottom to 59 foot pounds. The wheel goes back on 
the lug nuts and with the impact on a 22 millimeter socket just snug them tight. With the wheel on the ground each lug nut is torqued to 140 foot pounds in the cross pattern. We put on the center cap and with just the socket gently tighten each plastic nut you don't want to strip them. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video and you all have a great day.